Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School. And we're here for our first ever monthly angel scope for Aquarius for the month of June. Okay. And the cards that I'm using, the first card is going to be your Archangel for the month. And uh, we're using the Angel Tarot um, deck, which just the major arcana. So we'll get a message for the month, sort of the overall theme for the month in the Archangel. And then an additional message from your Guardian Angel. Okay. So just tuning in to the month for, of June for Aquarius. So what I'm sort of getting is, um, <laughs> is interesting, <laughs> the visions I'm having. Um, and there's a sense, so it, definitely this is one of my, when I see a naked behind, it's about being vulnerable um, in, in some way. And, but at the same time, in these visions that I'm seeing, um, it, it's, it's it, you know, the sense is that we're all going through uh, some huge shifts and we're having to adjust to the vulnerabilities of the, the circumstances that has, have occurred. And what's happening is, is that we're experimenting, we're exploring, um, we're, we're trying to find ways of reconnecting to the world in, um, in, the, in, in terms of what's available to us. So, um, and so new things are kind of coming out of this. And this is causing us to really manifest um, in, in, in terms of that the, you're, you're just launching so many new desires, so many new desires. And all these things are coming up and um, within you and, and for you, and you're learning to adapt and uh, to adjust, and you're rediscovering yourself, and you may not even realize it, but you are you are becoming, you are evolving through this. So, um, all right. So the thing is, is that um, for Aquarius, let's take a look and see what's happening. Um, you know, there is, I saw the word body before I began. And so there may be some new awareness, body awareness, that um, you're, you're developing. Um, in some way, you may be challenged by, um, and um, that you are discovering about yourself, okay? Um, so let's take a look at this. So the card that we have is... Archangel Raguel, whose name means the friends of God. And the Justice card, this is about balance, you know. Um, this is about discernment, balance, um, and, you know, fairness. And so for you in this month, um, you may really start to be um, balancing things out in your life, you know, trying to find that balance. That's what we're just talking about. That, like, in this month, you know, you're going to, you're going to be really sort of contending with how to balance things out, how to how to get things to work um, and function properly. Um, what's the right way about going, handling certain things in order to get that right balance? Um, you know, the right, not the word supply. So you are, um, you know, maybe concerned about supply, maybe things that you need um, in order to make your life function properly. And um, there's a word I saw, but it, it just escaped my mind. But, but yeah, that you're trying to find this, this balance and how to adjust in ways so that you can make things work for you. Um, all right, so maybe that'll come back to me, whatever that word was. But, it, the, you know, 
this also may relate to um, relationships and um, in your life and, you know, and you're finding it a challenge to adjust and, and to balance those things out, especially under the circumstances. So, you know, you're really focused on um, how to balance things out for yourself in this month, all right? And knowing what's the right thing to do for you, you know, what, what's the highest good here? What's the, 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 the choice that's going to bring, um, that's going to be in the best interest of everyone? So you're, you're really concerned about, you know, others and yourself and being in integrity and doing what's right. You, you're very sensitive. Um, your sensitivity has heightened even more around this particular um, issue. All right, let's look at the message from the guardian angels. And I'm trying to see the numbers here, but okay. So it's a number five. Um, this is the traditionally the hierophant, and it says, "Embrace those around you." This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. Make it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So you're in that place where you're, you know, where you're trying to balance out old beliefs, traditions with new ways and paths because of the circumstances, these opportunities are opening up. And, you know, you're, it's like you're trying to penetrate the word I saw, penetrate the veil, try, try to um, peer beyond um, what you've, the, the scope of what you've um, normally dealt with. And, um, and so you're trying to figure out how to do that for yourself. So with the five, this is about, um, you know, the challenges that um, this creates for you and probably internal challenges as well. It's probably also going to create some outer ch uh, challenges. So it's really good to surround yourself with people of like mind, if that's possible, um, you know, because when you're sort of quarantined, maybe with certain people who m you may not have that natural um, sort of um, connection with, um, then that could be a little bit difficult. But then, you know, think about what that, what that's showing you, what you're learning, you know, because of the situation and pay attention to what that means to you. You know, what, what's, what's fair and just for you? Who are you really? You know, what is it that you don't be open to what you're really learning about yourself and about your, the relationships in, in your, you know, in your life, the, um, you know, whether they're supportive or not, and that kind of thing, and whether or not you feel supportive of them or not. And, the, the, you know, is it something that um, you need to think about? Or is it something that um, you realize that is not working? So there's that, there's all of that. And, you know, go be easy with yourself. Take your time. And these are two major arcana cards. So this means this is huge for you. This is going to have a huge impact. Um, this is going to be a, a huge theme for you in your life right now. Um, and, and, and especially in this month, these two things, how to balance out you know, what you believe, your traditions, what you're used to with the changes that are being forced upon you and how you manage that. And you're just seeing messages, messages. So you're getting, pay attention to those messages through your body. Like listen to your body. Notice those, those reactions and those, you know, that come up in specific areas of your body. Meditate, you know, um, go within, discern, you, uh, you know, really focus on discernment this, in this month and see where this is leading you and what, what, it's, what, it's, um, what information you're learning. 
So, you know, the Hierophant, sort of like a spiritual teacher in a sense, and so you're going to be learning and, and um, some huge spiritual lessons. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and thank you for joining us.